Yesterday, I returned from our city of Bucha, recently liberated from Russian troops not far from Kiev. So there is not a single crime that they would not commit there. The Russian military searched for and purposefully killed anyone who served our country. They sh killed, shot and killed women outside their houses when they just tried to call someone who is alive. They killed entire families, adults and children, and they tried to burn the bodies. I am addressing you on behalf of the people who honor the memory of the deceased every single day in the memory of the civilians who died, who were shot and killed in the back of their head after being tortured. Some of them were shot on the streets, others were thrown into the wells, so they died there in suffering. They were killed in their apartments, houses, blowing up grenades. The civilians were crushed by tanks while sitting in the, their cars in the middle of the road just for their pleasure. They cut off uh, uh, limbs, cut their throats, slashed their throats. Women were raped and killed in front of their children. They were, uh, their tongues were pulled out only because the aggressor did not hear what they wanted to hear from them. So this is no different from other ter terrorists such as Daesh who occupied some territories. And here it is done by a, a member of the United Nations Security Council destroying internal uh, unity borders countries and uh, taking uh, the right of more than a dozen of uh, countries who are uh, self-determined and indeterminate. They pursue a consistent policy of destroying ethnic and religious diversity. They inflame wars and deliberately lead them in uh, such a way that to kill as many uh, regular uh, civilians and cities to leave the country where they deploy their troops in ruins and filled with mass graves. You all see that. And they support hatred at the level of the state and seek to export it to other countries through their system of propaganda and political corruption. They provoke a global food crisis that could lead to famine in Africa, Asia, uh, and other countries and will uh, surely end in large-scale political chaos in many countries countries were to and uh, destroying their domestic security. So where is the security that the Security Council needs to guarantee? It's not there, although there is a Security Council. Uh, and uh, uh, So where is the peace? Where, where, where are those guarantees that the United Nations needs to guarantee? It is obvious that the key institution of the world, which must ensure uh, the coercion of any aggressor to peace, simply cannot work effectively. Now the world can see that the Russian, what Russian military did in Bucha while keeping the city under their occupation. But the world has yet to see what they have done in other occupied cities and regions of our country. Geography might be different or various, but cruelty is the same, crimes are the same, and accountability must be inevitable. Later Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to remind you of Article 1, ch Chapter 1 of the UN Charter. What is the purpose of our organization? Its uh, purpose is to maintain peace and uh, make sure that uh, peace is adhered to. And now the UN Charter is violated literally, starting with the Article 1. And if so, what is the point of all other articles? Today, as a result of Russia's actions in our country, uh, in Ukraine, the most terrible war crimes of all times are we see uh, since the end of World War II, and they are being committed. Russians Troops are deliberately destroying Ukrainian cities uh, to ashes by with artillery and airstrike. They are deliberately blocking city, creating mass starvation. They deliberately shoot columns of civilians on the road trying to escape from the territory of hostilities. They even deliberately blow up shelters where civilians hide from airstrikes. They are deliberately creating conditions in the temporarily occupied territories so that uh, 
as many civilians as possible are killed there. Uh, the massacre in our city of Bucha is only one, unfortunately, only one of many examples of what the occupiers have been doing on our land for the past 41 days. And there are many more cities, similar places where the world will, has yet to learn the full truth. Mariupol, Kharkiv, Chernobyl, and dozens of other Ukrainian communities, each of them is similar to Bucha. I know, and you know perfectly well what the representatives of Russia will say in response to the accusations of these crimes. They have said that many times. The most significant was after the shooting down of the Malaysian Boeing over Donbas by Russian forces with Russian weapons, or during the war in Syria. They will blame everyone just to justify their own actions. They will say that there are various uh, uh, versions, different versions, and it is impossible to establish which one of those versions is true. They will even say that the bodies were uh, of those kills were allegedly thrown away and all videos are staged. But it is 2022 now. We have conclusive evidence. So there are satellite images. Uh, and we can conduct full and transparent investigation. That is what we are interested in. Maximum access for journalists, maximum cooperation with international institutions, involvement of the International Criminal Court, complete truth and full accountability. I'm sure that every uh, member state of the UN should be interested in this. For what? In order to push, punish once for and for all those who consider themselves privileged and believe that they uh, can uh, get away with anything. So show all the other potential war criminals in the world how they will be punished. If the biggest one is punished, then everyone is punished. Uh, why did Ukraine came to come to Ukraine? I will tell you, because Russia, lead, Russia's leadership feels like colonizers in ancient times. They need our wealth, our people. Russia has already deported hundreds of thousands of our citizens to their country. They abducted more than 2,000 children, just simply conducted that, those children and continue to do so. Russia wants to turn Ukraine into silent slaves. The Russian military are looting openly the cities and villages that they have captured. This is wide-scale uh, looting. They are stealing everything, starting with food, uh, ending with earrings, gold earrings that are pulled out with and covered with blood. We are dealing with a state that is turning the veto into the UN Security Council into the right to die. Uh, the, this undermines the whole architecture of uh, global security. It allows to, them to go unpunished. So they are destroying everything that they can. So if, we, if this continues, the, um, the countries will be rely only on the power of their own arms to ensure their security and not on international law, not rely on international institutions. The United Nations can be on simply closed. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to close the UN? Do you think that the time of international law is gone? If your answer is no, then you need to act immediately. The UN uh, charter must be restored immediately. The UN system must be reformed immediately so that the veto is not the right to die, that there is a fair representation in the Security Council of all regions of the world. The aggressor must be brought to peace immediately. Determination is needed. The massacre from Syria to Somali, Somalia, from Afghanistan to Yemen and Libya, that should have been stopped long time ago, to tell you the truth. If tyranny had at least once received such a response to the war, it had be we had waged, it would have ceased to exist and honest peace had been guaranteed after it and the world would have changed for sure. And then perhaps there would not be war in my country against our people, against Ukrainian people, against 
uh, our citizens, but the world watched and did not want to see it either the occupation of Crimea or the war against Georgia or taking the entire Transnistria from Moldova and how Russia was preparing uh, the basis for other conflicts and wars near their borders. How to stop it? Right away, the Russian military and those who gave them orders must be brought to justice immediately for war crimes in Ukraine. Anyone who has given criminal orders and carried out them by killing our people will be brought before the tribunal, which should be similar to the Nuremberg tribunals. I would like to remind Russian diplomats that a, a man uh, like uh, von Ribbentrop has not escaped punishment after, for crimes in World War II. I would also like to remind you that Adolf Arkman also did not uh, gone, uh, did not go unpunished. Nobody uh, of, uh, of them escaped the punishment. But the main thing is today is to, to, it's time to transform the system, uh, the United Nations. So therefore, I propose to convene a global conference, and we can do it here in peaceful cave in order to de determine how we are going to reform the world security system, how we will rely, uh, uh, how do, do we establish guarantee of uh, recognition of borders and integrity of states and countries, how we will assert the rule of international law. It is now clear that the goals set in San Francisco in 1945 for the creation of a global security international organization have not been achieved, and it is impossible to achieve them without reforms. Therefore, we must do everything in our power to pass on to the next generation an effective UN with the ability to respond preventively to security challenges and thus guarantee peace, prevent aggression and force aggressors to peace, have the determination and ability to punish if the principles of peace are violated. Uh, there can be no more exceptions or privileges. Everybody must be equal, all participants of international relations, regardless of economic strength, geographical area and individual ambitions. The power of peace must become dominant, the power of justice and the security uh, power, as uh, humanity has always dreamed of it. Ukraine is ready to provide a platform for one of the main offices of the up newly uh, updated security system, as similar to the Geneva office that deals with human rights, and Nairobi office that deals with environmental protection. And in Kiev, we can have U24 office that can specialize in preventive measures to maintain peace. I would like to remind you of our peace peaceful mission in Afghanistan. When we, Ukrainians, evacuated from that country over thousands, more than 1,000 people from uh, uh, with our, at our own extent, it was a very difficult phase, uh, and Ukraine uh, came to their help. We took in people of different nationalities, ethnic groups, different faiths, Afghan citizens of, the, the European, of European countries, U.S., Canada. We did not look who needed uh, um, help? Was it one of our own or somebody else? We helped all of them. We saved everyone. If every time there was a need, everyone in the world would be confident that help could would come. The world would be definitely safer. Therefore, Ukraine has the, uh, the moral right to propose a reform of the world security system. We have proven that we helped others not only happy time, but in dark times too. And now we need decisions from the Security Council for peace in Ukraine. If you do not know how to, uh, uh, to make this decision, you can do two things. Either remove Russia as an aggressor and a source of war so it cannot block decisions about its own aggression, its own war. And then do everything that we can 
do uh, to establish peace. Or the other option is please show how we can uh, re uh, reform or change, uh, dissolve yourself and, uh, and, uh, and work for peace. Or if there is no alternative and no option, then the next option would be dissolve yourself altogether. And I know that um, you can admit that if there is nothing that you can do besides conversation, we need peace. We Ukraine pe needs peace, Europe needs peace, and the world needs peace. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.